Hi, this is John Stenberger, Chairman of the Board of Trail Life USA. You know, one of the challenges we have moving forward is that it seems like everybody is lying to us about everything. And this is kind of a big problem. Almost every major institution of society has some deception, is not telling the truth, whether it's schools or corporate America or government or whoever it is, everything is, seems like it's just upside down. And we as Christians, we want to know the truth, we want to live in the truth, and we want to walk in the light. That's what it means to be a believer. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He personifies truth, right? And so we want to live in that truth. And the Old and the New Testament both say, do not be deceived, right? And so we don't want to be deceived. And so because of that, we as a board of directors, along with the leadership of Mark Hancock, our CEO, we have developed six essential concepts worldview concepts to protect and to undergird young men to help them think clearly about the world that they're about to enter when they become older. You know, if the Christian pollster George Barna is right, 70% of young people that we send away who are Christians that go to college will come back rejecting the Christian faith. 70%. That's seven out of 10 of our trailmen will go away to college and reject the Christian faith. And don't think just because we're sending our kids to private school or homeschool or public school and carefully guarding that we're immune from that problem. So part of our motive here is to really equip uh, our young men to think clearly about the world and to see the lies of the world and understand the difference between what the world says and what God says. It really is that simple. So there are six essential principles that we would like to see integrated into the program. First is truth. What is truth? Is truth relative and determined by every person or is truth absolute, coming from a non-changing God and his nature and character? Number two is creation. Where did everything come from? What's the nature of the universe? Did we just evolve through time, chance, and matter? Or did a God create a special universe with design and order that we see throughout at a microscopic level and at a big level? Third is human dignity. Are men just simply other animals? Or are we special? Are we created in the image and likeness of God himself? Do we have the ability to be creative? And what are the implications of that for life? Number four is family. This is an area where the world has it upside down in every way. Marriage, family, what is a boy, what is a girl, human reproduction, all of these things really are some of the key issues of life that we want to help young men think clearly about. Five is stewardship. Who owns the earth? What's our participation in that? Are we supposed to steward the earth? Do we, do we use things? Do we not use things? These are principles that we want to talk about in the Christian worldview concepts. And then finally is providence, the area of history. Is anyone guiding history? Is everything random? Or is God really in control of the outcome of the history of human affairs? And can we trust in that? So these six uh, Christian worldview concepts have been vetted by Christian leaders, denominational leaders, uh, and we believe this is a solid foundation to move forward with. And look, we can't guarantee the outcome of our children, right? But we wanna do the best that we can to equip them, to, to give them a sword and a shield, so when they go into the world, they can recognize the difference between the lies of the world and the truth that God has stated about what is really evident. So would you help us please, whether you're an, a parent in the program, whether you're a troop leader, um, this video is just a short introduction. There's many more materials that will be available that can do a deeper dive. But we wanna see these principles integrated all throughout the program in every way. And we're asking you to please help us to accomplish that mission. Because we cannot uh, create a generation of godly and courageous young men if we're losing them at that rapid rate.